version of the NBC Family Feud. I am your host, Jeffrey Mister, and boy, do we have a good one today, folks. Oh, to my right, we got the Bell Hickman family. Let me see you raise the floor. To my left, we got the Boys family. And we got two families who are playing for their favorite charities. I got one question for you. Are you ready to play the field? Yeah. I can't hear, uh-uh, I can't hear you. Are you ready to play the field? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let me get our first two contestants. Come on down. We got the top seven answers on the board. Woo! Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. That was close. Shoes. Shoes. Can we see those shoes? The pumps? You getting the pumps? Oh! All right. Well, two people agree with you, so a few more answers left. A car. A car, all right. I'm gonna make sure so you ain't you ain't getting out the gumball machine coming down. Can we see a car? Oh, all right. All right, y'all gonna play? All right, y'all stay ready. Y'all stay ready. All right, brother. How are you? You doing good? Doing great. I love to hear. I love to hear. Tell us who you are and. Who are these folks that came with the same shirt you got on? Today? My name is Rhoda Hickman, and these are my fi biological family members. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know them here pretty well. I know them. Right. You know, I know them pretty well. All right. uh, first, we have my son, uh, Caleb Hickman. He's an uh, outstanding athlete and student at, over at, at the middle school in Hernando. All right, yeah. Caleb. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then we have Karen Catherine. She is my younger sister. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Karen. And then we have Precious Pat. She's my older sister. Yeah. And then we have my cousin Stan, uh, serving them well, pushing more power than a Duracell. Yeah. yeah. Roll well, call one time. Stan, can we get the camera? Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. All right, all right, love the family, love the family. All right, Caleb, Caleb, all right, eighth grade. All right, you smelling yourself a little bit, you think? Just a little bit. All right, all right, okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. What do you say? Clothing. Clothing? All right, he likes to, you like to try yours on. Make sure, gotta make sure, can't buy no drawers offline. I gotta make sure I try them on first. Can we see clothing? Oh, number one answer. Y'all stay ready. Still no strikes. All right, Karen, Catherine. All right, two Ks. We don't want to get a third. You ain't got a no, you ain't got a middle name with a K, do you? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Frowned upon. <laughs> All right, name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. Your family's on the road. Jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Jewelry. Yeah. Just in case they try to sneak some of that, that fake gold on there. Mm -hmm. Can we get? <laughs> Can we see jewelry? Yeah! All right. All right. All right, Bones family, y'all stay ready. They rolling now. All right, Miss Pat, Miss Pat. All right. Did you did you have to fight any of your sisters growing up at all? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good fight. Good friendly good fight. fight. Friendly good. fight. All yeah. right, love it, Pat. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I gotta say that. All right. Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. I'm gonna say a house. A house. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. 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 A house. Yeah. A house. It's hard. It's hard for me to trust you on Zoom. <laughs> Buying yeah. this house on Zoom. I promise you. On Microsoft Teams. Can we see? Just move down the street. I gotta see it in person. Can we see a house? Uh, oh, that's a good answer, Pat. Uh, I'm with you. Okay. I gotta, I'm gonna have to pull up. I'm gonna have to pull up. <laughs> Stan Bell, how you doing, Jeffrey, sir? Jeffrey, we're good, Jeffrey. How you doing, I'm sir? Good, how you doing, I'm sir? I'm good, yes, sir. All right, all right, love to hear, man, love to hear. Love you, brother, love you, man. Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. Jeffrey, how about appliances? Appliances. Yeah. Hey. Appliances. Hey, listen, tell you right now. <laughs> man, that deep freezer, I need to see it. <laughs> With the turkey necks in there, I need to make sure it's cool. Put my kids in there. 
Can we see appliances? Oh! Two strike. Bond family. One more strike. We come to y'all to steal, okay? All right. We coming back to you, Ms. Rona. All right. You got two strikes. No pressure. I'm going to read the question again. Give you a little second. Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. A pet. A pet. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. If Kujo going to bite me, I want to see him first. <laughs> Before. I don't want Amazon dropping no puppy off my, my desk. All right, right. FedEx, UPS. <laughs> Can we see a pet? Oh, oh. I thought that was a good answer. Oh, right. All right. I guess people buying their pets on, on Amazon now. All right. <laughs> Born family. All right, Shout out what right, you said. Right. Shout out what you said. Food. Shout out. Groceries, groceries. Groceries. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all like to go and test. You want to test that grocery with that. Mr. Kiva, it's on you. You can forget everything they're saying and go on your own, or you can listen to the family. What do you think? I'm going to read the question. Name something you might prefer to buy in person rather than online. You said? Food. Food. This is a big one now. A lot of people shop online for their, a lot of people go online for their groceries. Let's see. Can we see dramatic pause food? Oh! Let's see what else is on the board. We got two answers left. Number six. Perfume. Perfume. Cologne. I can't be out here smelling like no, no tree monster out here. I need to smell it first. Number four. A mattress. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. You do like that. All right. It's got up the floor. That was a good first round. Good first round. It came down to it. All right. The Bonds family has 79. Make some noise for yourself. All right. Bear Hebrew family, you still have love and compassion and wisdom, I can tell. But it's still first round. Y'all ready for round two? All right. Let me get to the next two folks. Come on down. Yeah. Come on down. Come on, come on down, come on. Oh yeah, come on with it. Hey, hey, oh, let's go. <laughs> the top five answers are on the board. Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. The ribs. Ah, uh, <laughs> sugar water. <laughs> Can we see the ribs? Bring that food to the cookout. All right, number one is this All right, all right, you're going to okay. play a pass. You're going to play? We're going to play. All right, play. All right, y'all stay ready. <laughs> stay ready, Kevin. All right, y'all going back. Oh, all right, oh. <laughs> Don't tear yourself up. All right, we ain't got no insurance, Caleb. We ain't got no insurance. <laughs> there you go. Slap it, man. Okay. All right, Mr. Kiva. All right. We're going to start on here. Tell us who you are and who you brought with you in these gang color shirts y'all got on. <laughs> I'm Lakiva Barnes and I brought my natural family and I brought people from my community, uh, but we are all members of Brown. All right, okay, all right. Hey. So this is my mother, the dessert diva, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> dessert diva, all right, Deborah, Miss Deborah. Yeah. Deborah, <laughs> yes. And then I have my neighbor, Karen, who is very charismatic. Oh, she got a little, <laughs> little wiggle about her. <laughs> and next to her is her daughter, Kirsten, who is a dancer. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. And on the end is my husband, Wilford, oh. who is the master craftsman. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Wilford, all right. Some of y'all ain't got your shirts colored in. I know you got that. That's a special girl. Okay. I can respect that. I understand special. All right. Y'all ready? Okay. All right. Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. Miss Karen? Drinks. All right. She said. <laughs> Not drinks, but drinks. Okay. I was it's about a that. difference. You got to clarify. Gotta she said drinks. <laughs> Say drinks and drinks for all our nuns. All right, I know ethnic. It's a little different between drinks and drinks. Google, <laughs> Google. 
So we're going we're gonna to ask you. So you're saying drinks? I want to be clear. I'm saying drinks. Sodas. Oh, sodas. Soda. Okay. Soda. okay. Big K. Yeah. Dr. Thunder. That was drinks right there. Can we see? Not to be confused with drinks. Can we see drinks? Oh! And it's fun. It's just like you said it to this. I don't know. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Curse, how you doing? All right, you dance? Do a little yes, dance? You got, you, got, you got something for us? You got a little dip? A little... Uh, not today. Not, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not today. Well, we'll come back to you. See you at church. Stop on it. Tell All right, no strikes. No strikes. Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. I'm going to say music. 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 Yeah. 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 music. All right, she said she bring the music with her because she can't dance without that music. Can we see music? Oh, oh, good oh, answer though. Good one strike, one strike. Bill Hickman found a one strike. I'll stay ready to steal. All right, Wolf, how you All doing, right, sir? Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> not say it, not say anything. We're we having before the show. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. How about ice? Ice. Yeah, good answer. Good All right. All right, all right. Black, I think we automatically slam our, our ice down out of Mac. I don't know if you have to do that. Can we see the ice with the little polar bear on the front of it? Oh, that was a good answer, though. You gotta have ice. All right, all right. All right. they drinking ice. They stuff cool. <laughs> <laughs> they burning up two strikes. Two strikes, Bill Hickman family. I'm back up to you, Lakeva. All right, all right. Come on, Lakeva. All right, um, two strikes. All right, before we do, too, tell us which, which charity are you guys playing for? I forgot to ask you earlier. We are playing for the Chris Hope Foundation. Mm. And the Chris Hope Foundation provides housing for families who are in Memphis supporting their children who are at St. Jude. All right, all right, great. All right. Very worthwhile charity there. Very worthwhile charity. So I'm pulling for y'all in this set. But uh, all right, let's see if you're pulling for <laughs> them as well with this next answer, because you got two strikes. Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. Paper towels. Oh. Because <laughs> they eat the ribs, the ribs. <laughs> I got to have some paper towels with the ribs that mama cooking there. Good answer. Can we see paper towels? The quicker picker upper. Oh. That was a good answer. Yeah, All right, Bill Hickman family, I'm over to y'all. That's three strikes. They been liberating over there. Right. <laughs> it's an awkward leaving from. You're going to see. Shout out what you think. Shout out what y'all are saying. Yeah, cheers. 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 Okay, cheers. 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 Okay. All right. So, Ms. Rhoda, I'm going to read the question one more time just in case you want to say forget your family and go on your own. <laughs> your own Name something you might be asked to bring to a family cookout. You said? Chairs and tables. Chairs and tables. You over you somebody's house, they ain't got no chairs, no tables. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. And we ain't finna stand up and eat nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can relate to that. Can we see chairs and tables? Here, got a close match. Number five, what you thinking? Spoons and forks. Spoons and forks. You said paper plates earlier, right there. You gotta eat off something. All right, you, you close there, Kevin. What else y'all think? Rotel. He said he bringing the Rotel. <laughs> <laughs> and Rotel. I don't care where we're going. Rotel. The roof, Chris. We taking the roof, Rotel. Can we see what's number three? Friends, bring your friend with you. We seven, ain't nobody said friend. All right, all right. So right now we got the Barnes family with 79 points. All right, we got the Bell Hickman family with 69 points. We got a close match, y'all ready? Let's get round three, let me get Catherine, let me get Karen. Let's get the chains and let's go! All right, that's the best one so far, I believe. Yeah. <laughs>
It's getting better as we go on. All right. Round three. The top four answers are on the board. All right. Name something you'd hate to see an out of order sign on. Catherine. Bathroom. Bathroom. Show me, show me, show me the bathroom where you gotta go. <laughs> That's number one or two. Don't, don't tell her. Don't tell her. That's your business. <laughs> she said the bathroom. Oh, Kevin, you gonna play a pad. They gonna play. Y'all stay ready. All right, my gang members over there, y'all stay ready in the blue. <laughs> All right. Coming on down the line. Miss Pat, who says she'll she a fighter. She, a, she, she said she love the Lord. Yes, try I Jesus, do. don't try her. Yes, That's what she said. <laughs> All right, Miss Pat. Three other answers still on the board. No strikes. Name something you hate to see an out of order sign on. I would say the a water fountain. A water fountain. Especially when you're good and thirsty right there. Especially when you're good and thirsty. That's a good answer. Especially when you're good and thirsty. Dry, dry mouth it. That's a word. That's a word. Don't believe it. All right. Can we see water fountain? Oh, that was a good answer. All right, Miss Pat. All your answers have been good. They don't show you no love. Y'all don't stink. That's what it is. Going back to Stay in the man. Yes, sir. How you doing, brother? I'm doing like I can. <laughs> <laughs> Your English teacher loves you in school, I believe. Right? Yes. Ramming it. Okay, you got one strike, one strike. They got one strike. Stay ready. All right. Name something you hate to see an out of order sign on. Well, when I go to McDonald's, the ice cream machine. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Stan, hold on one time. Stan, look at the camera right there and tell. Tell McDonald's what's going on. I'm sorry, it. Mickey D's, I love you, but the ice cream machine, please, <laughs> come on. That is all fact. I don't know if this on the board, but that's the truest answer we didn't heard today. Listen, listen, I don't know if somebody oh. worked out. Let's see, oh, can we see the ice cream machine? Oh, that's two strikes. That's, 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 that's facts, though. I don't care what they say. That's facts, Stan. That's facts. Two strikes, boys, family. Stay ready. All right, Ms. Rhoda. All right, see so you're thinking I'm gonna read the question one more time. Name something you hate to see an out of order sign on. Stan Bell gave us some truth down there. The people didn't feel it. Guess they didn't eat at McDonald's. You got two strikes. Yeah. A vending machine. A vending machine. That's a good answer, good answer. You be, you be wanting to shake that machine. You ain't gonna take my 35 cent. I'll go to jail. <laughs> what is 35? Can we see? Vending machine! All right! They stay alive, still two strikes, stay ready. Caleb! All right, smelling yourself? All right, Caleb, you got, you got any young ladies at your school is looking at you today, watching the show? It's like, look at Caleb, huh? look at Caleb! <laughs> it made you more shame, all right, good. That's what it's about. That's what school is about, making you shame. All right, <laughs> two strikes, Caleb, no pressure. Name something you hate to see on an out of order sign. Amusement park ride. Amusement park ride. Say one time, sir. Amusement park ride. Oh, amusement park ride, sir. Amusement park ride. Now listen, listen. I'm gonna act a fool at Liberty Land if I can't get on the zip and pip. <laughs> can we see? Can we see amusement park ride? Oh, that was a good answer, Caleb. Good answer. No problem. Here we go. All right, we got the Southern Heights gang. Shout the answers out. <laughs> elevator. Elevator, okay. Elevator. What do you think? ATM. ATM? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Kiva, name something you hate to see an out of order sign on. You can forget everything they say and go on your own. You can listen to your, your gang members here in the Southern Heights. All right. Oh, y'all ain't got no gang signs in there yet. Okay, good. For the Lord. For the Lord. Gang signs for the Lord. Good, okay. Mr. Keith, what do you think? Come on, come on. The ATM. The ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have a little money to get something out of it. <laughs> it can be out of order because you ain't got no balance in there. It's two different things. Can we see? <laughs> the ATM. Oh! Yeah. It's still there. All right. Still one 
answer left. They're gonna, they're gonna get the scores up for us. One answer left. What do y'all think is still left elevator. on the board? Elevator. 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 Yeah. Gas pump. Gas. Oh, gas. Yeah. Oh, I hate to see them the gas pumps. And you wait. Elevator, gas pump. Anything else? What y'all think? That's it. That's it. Elevator, gas pump. Let's see. Number three. Elevator. All right. Y'all had both of those then. All right. We got the Bones family with 171 points. All right, we got the Bell Hickman family with 69. And so that means we're playing Sudden Death. Let me get Kirsten, let me get Miss Pat. Come on down! Oh! Come on down, Miss Pat. Oh! Oh! Hey. Oh! Let's go! All right, all right, ladies, I want you to do something for me. Look behind you real quick. Look behind you. Those people are depending on you for this last question. Ooh. No pressure. Look in the camera right here. The charities are depending on you. No pressure at all. Yeah. <laughs> just, Ooh. just, you know, will families be able to stay over to help their loved ones? There's nothing like that. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> all right, sudden death. I just need the top answer, nothing else. The only, the number one answer will do, okay? Yeah, Woo, here we go. Y'all feel it? Yes. <laughs> I just like because I'm not, I don't have to answer. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Name something you did every day in kindergarten that you wish you could do every day now. Take a nap. Miss Pat. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Miss <laughs> Pat didn't even wait for me to point to her. <laughs> I was like, Kenny, she was like, nap, 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 nap. I want to say nap. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you got to fight with your sister right there. Like, okay. We need number one else though, Miss Pat. Woo, 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 my heart beating. Your heart beating a little bit? Yep. You're going <laughs> to see if it's still beating a little bit now. Miss Pat said, for all the marbles, for it all, can we see taking a nap? That was, that was a good question. What? What? I thought we were going to be going. I know, no, no. That's it. That's it right there. What? What were you going to say? What were you going to say? Either nap or count. You're going to say nap too. She's going to say, nah. It's just a split. Say, good job, family. Good job. Y'all did all right for yourself. Southern Heights. Give it up for Southern Heights. Give it up for Southern Heights right there. Good job. Good job. All right. I need two people for fast money, Bill. Hickman family. Come on down. Get your microphone. Come on down. Get your bell. I need two. We need two. Come on down. Yeah. Oh, you get your microphone. Come on down. All right. That was a great game. That was a great game. That was a great game. When we come back, we got the Bell Hickman family playing fast money. Do not go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. And if your family, your crazy family, would like to be a part of Family View, email lifeprep at brownbaptist.org. And your crazy family can be doing the roll call. Do it one time for us there, man. Hey, 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 man. We're coming right back. Come on, man. All right, welcome back to BMDC Family View. Oh, we had a good one. Oh! We're playing Fast Money with the Bell Hickman family. We have Caleb, eighth grade Caleb. He, he's been smelling himself. His mama just told him he will not eat tonight. He's <laughs> not successful here. Caleb, you ready? Yes, no? <laughs> All right, the Joe Jackson style of parenting here to make sure you get it. Michael was successful, okay? All right, you got 20 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds. Um, the clock will not start until I read the first question. If you get to a question that you don't know the answer. You can say pass. If we have time, we'll come back to that question. Okay? Yes, sir. You got this? No pressure. I can do all things. Do what? Amen. Amen. I will test you to see if you knew. <laughs> there we go. All right. Clock don't start till I read the first question. Take a breath. Talk loud and then you got it. All right. Tell me a type of hoop. Uh, basketball hoop. Other than feet, name something that runs. Um, a machine. Name a drink that's both served hot and cold. Coffee. Uh, name an excuse a friend gives for not helping you move. Um, 
They were busy. Name things you can find under the couch. Um, food. <laughs> All right. All right. Your mama was listening to that last answer. <laughs> How did food get under here? <laughs> All right. So, uh, all right. How do you think you did? Oh, no. Okay. Well, your mama going to let you know. She said you ain't eating tonight if you don't get it. So I hope you did good. I hope you did good. All right. All right roll the show. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got any young ladies you want to wave to before we? No, you want to say, okay. Gotcha. It's your business. I'm just here to read the question. All right, I'm going to read the question. You tell me what you said. Tell me a type of hoop you said. A basketball hoop. Basketball hoop. We got 29. All right. Good start. Other than feet, name something that runs. You said. A machine. A machine. A machine. Yeah. A machine. Oh. All right. So this is good, though. Good answer, though, Still, You're still in there. Name a drink that served. Um, hot and cold, you said? Coffee. Coffee. We got 34. Yeah. All right. Good job. All right. Name an excuse a friend gives for not helping you move, you they were, said? They were busy. Too busy. Got to wash my hair. Oh. 51 points. All right. Good job, Cap. You in there. Looking pretty good. Last question, name things you can find on the couch. Your mom was interested in hearing this answer. You said? Food. Food. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You feel it now? All right. Show them your teeth. Right, show them your teeth. There you go. There you go. We're going we're to we're gonna add all those up for you. All right. We got Stan trying to come and clean up in just a moment. All right. All right. Show them, show them those muscles one time. Caleb, why are you waiting right there? All right. Flex on <laughs> Flex on them, flex on them, all right, to get that on in there, all right. We got, we got Stan, all right, you got 157 points. You feel good, huh? You feel good now. All right, look, look back there, look at your mama say, all right, can I eat tonight? Yeah, very good. <laughs> she said you can eat tonight, all right. All right, you can slide, all right, we ready. Good job, good job Kayla, all right. <laughs> all this good, listen. Listen, all right, all right. You know this young man? Hey. You know him? Yeah. All right, look, Cuzzo there. Yeah. Look, Cuzzo represented. Look, Cuzzo represented. He got you 157 Whoa. points. <laughs> hello, somebody. Wow. Hello, hello, hello. Look, he left it right for you to ring the bell. Get that roll call there in just a minute. He got it for you ready to go. Wow. So, so, yep, so. We're gonna give you 25 seconds because it'd be a little bit tough just in case you you uh, repeat any of Caleb's answers. You hear this sound bump bump? That means for you to give me a different answer. All right, we couldn't afford the real bill yet. We're working on getting it there. <laughs> we're working on getting it. We're gonna get that. Okay, get that down. So, also too, um, if you run into any questions that you you don't know, you can say pass if we have time. We're gonna come back to that question. Got it? All right. The clock will start after I read the first question. All right. Tell me a, tell me a, <laughs> that, uh, Lord, is that you? <laughs> is it not? Make sure my house in order. All right, there we go. Start again. <laughs> tell me a type of hoop. Hula. All right, other than feet, name something that runs. Battery. Uh, name a drink that both served hot and cold. Coffee. Bubba. Uh, latte. Uh, Bubba. Same thing, yeah. Uh, um, mm, milk. All right. All right. Name an excuse a friend gives for not helping you move. Uh, I'm sick. All right. Last question. Name things you find under the couch. Shoes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look at your family behind you saying. <laughs> And clap your own. Caleb, Caleb's still nervous for the first round. He can clap. <laughs> All right, we just got to get the 200 points there. And we in there like swimwear. All right. I'm going to read the question. You tell me what you said. We'll see what's on the board. All right. Tell me a type of hoop. You said? Hula. Hula. 60 points. Oh! 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 Oh!
Number one answer, other than feet, name something that runs. Number one answer was water or toilet. Water, water or toilet was the number one answer. Name a drink that served both hot and cold. Number one answer was tea. Tea. Name an excuse a friend gives for not helping you move. Work too busy. That's what Caleb gave earlier, number one answer. Uh, name things you find under the couch. Money coins, the number one answer. Give it up for the Bell Hickman family. Y'all can come on around, come on around. You guys can come on around. Give it up. Give it up for your charity. Give it up for your A. Oh. Hey. 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 I love it. All right. We don't have any issues, so y'all make sure not to fall. This is another great episode of the NBC Family Feud. I love it, guys. If you are part of the view, stop right now and email lifeprepatbrownbaptist.org so you can get your friends and family on here. <laughs> Spend some money for your favorite charity. Give it up for the Bell Hickman family one more time. All right, give it up for the Barnes family one more time. We want to thank you for watching. Tell somebody else about this show. I've been your host, Jeffrey Mister. Hey, listen. I love you, we love you, God loves you, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Come back to the fuse.